Hello, welcome to ANF by Clusey uh, Clinic. And today we're talking a little bit about obesity and how that affects our health. Um, sorry about the computer glitches. I normally would do these outside, but it's freezing and I didn't want to turn blue um, while I was doing the Facebook Live. So I've come inside, it's why everything's a little bit because I'm doing it differently. Anyway, so you all heard Susie's story last week or read Susie's story last week about how she used to be 120 kilos or 110 kilos or something and how that affected her life and then all the yo-yoing that she did, diet this, diet that and putting on weight, losing weight, putting on weight, losing weight. So I don't want to talk about the effects that that has on your health, but that has a detrimental effect on your health as well. But what does carrying 10 extra kilos or more actually do to your body? What are the physiological effects of that? There are millions. Now, if you are one of these people that puts on three or four kilos over winter and then loses it over summer, I am not talking about that. I'm not talking directly to you because that's normal. The body in winter is used to storing some fat. It's how it keeps you warm. And it's, you know, during winter, there's traditionally, you don't grow a lot of food in winter. So the body stores the fat to get you through winter. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the excess 10 kilos or more that you're carrying all the time. What does that do to your body? Well, the obvious effect that it has is on your joints, especially your knees and your ankles. So my brother once explained it to me because I put on weight after my dad died. I emotionally ate. I got up to something like 88 kilos at 20, which was a lot. I was 20 kilos overweight at that point. So then I lost my weight um, after getting some therapy. And I'm, I said to my brother, wow, everything works so much differently. He said, imagine carrying bags of oranges around your neck. And that's the extra weight that you've been carrying. So no wonder my knees were always sore because they're carrying way too much weight and they're going up and down stairs, up and down hills. So the impact on your joints is massive, especially the knees. So if you are, if you are overweight and you have knee issues, then we need to think about how do we get you to lose those extra kilos just for the sake of your joints. Also, we have the impacts on our internal organs. So you've probably heard about the term visceral fat. Well, when you have excess fat in your body, your organs get coated in fat. Now, with the exception of kidneys, kidneys have a natural coating of fat. I'm talking about the excess fat that you sit in your liver. So for example, fatty liver. Fatty liver is now one of the leading causes of liver cirrhosis and liver disease because you're organs can't function properly if they're sitting in a pool of lard. So visceral fat is super, super important. That's more important than anything else. So if you have excess visceral fat, then your organs will not be functioning properly. Also excess fat within your system, your skin won't be, it'll lose its elasticity. Um, it will then potentially lose its ability to protect you from things that you absorb through the skin. Uh, your bowel won't work properly. You can get kidney stones. You can get gallbladder stones because um, the gallbladder's job is to sit there and hold the bile. So when you have fat coming into the system, it injects bile into the bowel to help break down the fat. So if you have excess fat, your liver can't keep up with that amount of bile production. Plus your liver is already compromised because it's got coated in fat. You know, we all hear about cholesterol that obesity can lead to high cholesterol, yes and no. There's different uh, research out there on cholesterol that it's even skinny people can have high cholesterol because it's your body's way of protecting you from toxicity. But when you have an excess amount of fat, yes, you also can get high cholesterol and then that affects your heart. Your heart also gets affected because it's working over time, lugging around, trying to oxygenate a body that is bigger than it should be, that can't move as well as it could be. You get lungs get affected because you get very, very breathless as you're trying to carry. So, you know, if you go to the gym, for example, and you're trying to lift 50 kilos, you get out of breath. So if that's you walking around every day, you're getting out of breath. 
So there are so many, and it can lead to diabetes because again, the liver is, one of its jobs is to help the pancreas. If it can't do that, then the pancreas starts to malfunction and you become insulin resistant. So your sugars get really high within the system. Your body then can't um, break down the excess fats to use it as fuel. Um, Any time you eat sugar, that impacts the problem because sugars that aren't being used will turn to fat. So there's lots and lots of reasons that obesity is bad. Plus, if you get a wound, it doesn't heal as fast because there's a lot of fat within the tissues in the skin that is blocking the pathways to all the healing cells and properties and blood supply. So overall, it's not good to be carrying 10 or more kilos overweight. Now, don't go to a BMI list and say, oh my gosh, I'm overweight because my BMI is 34. I can tell you now that the BMI is flawed. That's the basal metabolic index. And they say anything over 26 or 27 or something, you're in the overweight obese category. I'll tell you a story about some rock climbing friends of mine. Now these men had no percentage fat. They were muscle on muscle on muscle because uh, they are climbing their massive rock faces for a living. That's what they did. If you put their weight and their height together, they were morbidly obese. So that's how the BMI classified them because muscle weighs more than fat. So you can be um, you know, a weightlifter and have no fat or even just a fit sports person who lifts weights and have no fat on you and be classified as morbidly obese. I'm classified as morbidly obese because I have a high skeletal muscle mass because I've lifted weights my whole life. So I'm not, if you look at me, I am not morbidly obese. I'm probably carrying an extra five kilos, but going into winter, I don't care. But there are points in my life where I have emotionally eaten and stacked on the weight or I broke my leg so I couldn't exercise. So put on an extra 10 kilos. That's now come off. So there are, you know, there are reasons why we put on weight. And again, weight is a symptom of something. So if you really want to address the reason why you've put on the weight, is it a psychological reason? Is it a physical reason? Is it a dietary lifestyle reason? So as we get older, um, if you, we drink alcohol and things like that, our body loses its ability to be able to break it down. The liver will do its job for a certain amount of time and then it just, it gets tired. So then all of the alcohol, all of those calories that aren't doing anything that are literally poisoning us will help, will put on weights. Why men get beer bellies, women get beer bellies. Um, I don't drink alcohol anymore and I can tell you it's really easy for me to maintain a stable weight because I'm not drinking useless calories that are bad for me. So my lymphatic system and liver are working really well and my body's able to cope with what I'm putting into it. Um, So it really, you want to do yourself a favor and you want to lose that weight, not because of anything aesthetically, Um, You know, big boned people or people that aren't really skinny little people, you're still normal. You're still okay. I'm talking about excess weight you are carrying being bad for your overall health, not what you look like. Um, So when we run programs and things within the clinic, we're here to support you make long-term changes. We empower people to make long-term changes through education through ANF therapy to reset the body and through coaching and support. So if you want some help around your weight, we can help you. So please um, contact me um, by a, uh, what is it, private message or put a little comment below, help me please. Uh, And then we will get in contact with you because you don't wanna be carrying this excess weight around. It's not good for your joints. It's not good for your internal system. And it's not good for your mental health as well because it does affect your mental health. And a lot of reasons why we put on the weight is for mental health reasons as well. So please reach out if you want some help. We're here to help you. All right, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.